Welcome everyone, whether for the first time or if you are returning. The following slides will give a brief overview of who we are, as well as where to access important information on time and leave, our handbook, the hiring process, and COVID-19. Let's get started. So who we are and where to locate us. My name is Angie Miller. I'm the Director of Human Resources here at CNCC. The other half of this department is comprised of Keely Ellis, who is our Executive Assistant to the President and HR. Below you'll notice I've listed our contact information, both email and phone, as well as building location. We are both in the McLaughlin building. I'm in room 244 and Keeley's in room 206 next to the President. The next series of slides focus on time and leave, when to request it, where to request it, and how to request it. As with all of our policies, CNCC is part of the CCCS system, thus we abide by board and system policies set. For any more information you may need on these policies, please access the website at www.cccs.edu. So as far as when to, it's always a good idea, as you can see on this slide, to please chat with your supervisor prior to any upcoming leave request or need so they can try to plan for your absence as best as possible. We do expect and require a minimum of 24 hours when able. As far as any other types of leave that might be needed, beyond annual and sick, there are various other types of leave we have available for our full-time employees or leave eligible employees. It will depend on your situation or life event, what type of leave you may need, so please get in touch with us in the HR department so we can best help you. So where do you locate your leave or check your leave balance? All right. Now, many of you, if not all of you, have already spoken with me uh, lightly in the way of an orientation on how to use your crossroads or where to locate your crossroads, but I'm going to take you through this very, very briefly. Your crossroads is located on the CNCC main website at the very top of the page. You'll notice by the arrow here. Once you locate the crossroads link on the main page, simply log in using your desktop password, click the employee tab on the left side of the page and scroll down to time and leave. Here you will select leave request report and will be then routed to the next screen where you will enter the start date and time as well as the end date and time for your leave request. Please remember to complete the totals section. Remember to sign your document with the electronic signature button before you submit it for approval. Once you do this, you may submit for approval and that leave request will then be sent to your supervisor for final approval. You will do this for any type of leave you request, be it annual or sick, or any other type of leave that you have been designated for at that time. Here you'll see a few screenshots of the employee tab I referenced, as well as the link for the leave request report. This is a screenshot of my leave request or report. And I did this so you guys could get an idea of what I'm talking about when I say things like the electronic signature button as well as the totals section. Please excuse the little guy in the corner, he's covering my personal information. Employee handbook and other important bits of information. The CNCC employee handbook was completed this year and can be located on our web page in the faculty and staff section under resources. You'll see here from the SNP below the location, and if any of you have any need for a printed copy, please reach out to HR. I'm very happy to announce CNCC is now able to offer employees an online training platform. This is located on our crossroads in the employee tab under training. You'll notice the canopy training link in the SNP below. These training videos are mandatory from system and we are asking that you please complete them within the course of this year. Uh, we do track them. We are storing training files. This is something new to us and I do ask for your patience as we go through this process. Thus far the 
response has been positive on these training videos, but if you do experience any issues, please let us know. As far as other training opportunities, CNCC offers our benefit eligible employees both tuition reimbursement and professional development opportunities. Due to the COVID-19 global pandemic, many of these funds are currently being reevaluated at the state and system level. Please contact HR for any updates and questions. A few other important things to know before we move on to the hiring process. Fleet. If you have not already signed the CNCC fleet policy, let me know and I will send you the document in question. You need to make sure this has been signed and returned before you reserve a fleet vehicle. Incidents or concerns. This is extremely important and I need everyone to know where to locate the report. If you find yourself needing to report any type of incident or concern, this can be accessed on our main homepage at the bottom of the page. Please see the SNP below. Know that these forms go to HR, they're not seen by everyone, they're private. They're safe and secure and there if you need them. I encourage anyone and everyone to use them if you need them. Don't be shy and don't think that they are seen by everyone, they're simply not. The hiring process. Though there are many bullet points, there's one recurring theme and that's to get in touch with HR should you need to hire anyone for anything at any time. This process has been heavily tightened up and we are responsible for all of the new hire paperwork and background check paperwork that need to go out to any and all of our prospective new employees, be they part-time, temporary, or whatever the need. I cannot stress enough how important it is you get in touch with us before you have someone start working. They have to go through a pre-employment background check in order to begin working for CNCC. So again, if you're contemplating adding any staff or faculty, you get in touch with HR, preferably via email because I'm going to need it anyway, and I will send your new employee the paperwork they need. If you have an old application, what do you do with it? I'm going to ask that you please throw it away and then get in touch with me for any new need or any new employee who needs paperwork. I know this seems a little restrictive, but I can tell you it has streamlined our process a great deal and it's working quite well. So again, I apologize for any inconvenience. If you have anything old, please throw it away. Don't use it. Don't hand it out. If you have someone you'd like to hire, get in touch with HR. Our last slide deals with COVID-19 and some of the protocols we're asking people to abide by. If you're feeling sick, and this is the most important, please stay home. Immediately notify your supervisor or HR so we can kind of proceed from there or at least are aware of what's going on. We're asking that you stay safe by observing social distancing rules and wearing your face coverings. If you need assistance with face coverings, masks, a face shield, or any other type of accommodation, please let HR or your supervisor know so we can better assist you. If you are feeling sick and in need of a COVID-19 test, again, I cannot stress how important it is that you let HR know immediately so we can assist you as best as we can. That's pretty much it. And if anyone has any questions on any one of the slides that you've seen prior to this, please reach out. Again, we are located in the McLaughlin Building, room 244 for myself and room 206 for Kiwi. At this moment, both of us are on campus part-time and working from home part-time. So if you need us, email would probably be the, the best way to start if you can't find us in person. Thanks so much, and again, welcome back and stay safe.